It's been a roller coaster of a season for Tottenham so far. Whether it be end to end thrillers, underwhelming performances, or blowing away the opposition, it's hard to deny that it's been entertaining and a far cry from the torrid time experienced under Antonio Conte. Just over a year on from the Italian's dramatic departure, it's hard to think of a player who encapsulates the turnaround at White Hart Lane just as much as Pat Matar Sarr. Despite a starring man of the match display at the San Siro in the Champions League, the Senegalese midfielder made just two Premier League starts in his debut season under Conte last year, but has completely turned it around following the arrival of Ange Postacoglu. In his 20 league start, Saar has undoubtedly shunned as one of Spurs' most important players this season, earning himself a new six and a half year contract until 2030 and showing exactly why Spurs stumped up 15 million euros for one of the most sought after young talents in world football a few years ago. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the background, mentality and skill set of Pat Matar Saar, giving a tactical breakdown of exact prominence as one of the most vital yet underrated players under Spurs' Ange Postacoglu. But first, please subscribe if you are new. Please also like the video as it helps get our videos seen by a larger audience. Also, comment down below which player you'd like to see us make a video on next. So. Graduating from the highly esteemed Generation Foot Academy in Senegal before taking the well-trodden path to Ligue 1 side Metz, those who have followed Saar's development won't be surprised by his performances this season. The 21-year-old is near impossible to overlook when watching a game of his. His exceptionally well-rounded skill set, coupled with the slim, tall frame and long strides that allow him to glide across the field with ease, make for traits of an archetypal box-to-box -box midfielder. This means he's able to contribute in all phases of play, whether it be in or out of possession, or when transitioning both ways between defence and attack. This makes him perfect as the right-sided eight in Andrew's midfield, to act as somewhat of a facilitator, allowing his teammates to maximise their strengths and minimise their weaknesses. This is most evident in the frequently created wide triangles between himself, Porro and Kulisevsky or Johnson. For instance, his long legs, excellent anticipation and ability to seamlessly cover ground allow him to constantly be in the right position to quickly recover loose balls, or use his long legs to nip in front of opponents to intercept a pass or win a tackle. As such, with Saar often in a slightly reserved role, this gives Porro in particular the freedom to roam forwards and use his fantastic creativity to help Spurs get into more lucrative attacking positions and take risks. With the security of knowing Saar can work with Romero to cover space in behind, or quickly counterpress to win the ball back high up. This highlights Saar's proficiency off the ball, something which not only aids Spurs out of possession but also in possession too. His telepathic-like relationship with Porro frequently opens up spaces to exploit. In build-up, Saar will often drift out to the typical right-back area, dragging away his marker to free up space for Porro to move inside and receive the ball in central areas. Meanwhile, in attack, Saar's bursting runs into right-sided channels manipulate opposition defences to either allow Kulisewski to cut inside onto his stronger left foot or even create passing lanes for Saar himself to receive in dangerous areas. The latter is something we've seen on multiple occasions this season, and alongside his fantastic box crashing ability, has undoubtedly been a key contributor to Saar's three goals and three assists so far this campaign. Those numbers exemplify the myriad of ways in which the Senegalese can contribute offensively. Whether it be cutting the ball back into the box from the touchline, latching onto a through ball to score himself as was seen against Brighton, or even whipping in a lethal cross or assist to a teammate like he did against Aston Villa. This highlights Saar's technical ability and goes to show why he's such a highly appreciated asset in Ange Postecoglou's side. See, alongside his aforementioned abilities out of possession, he's also able to serve his side in possession. Whilst he's by no means an exceptionally expansive passer, Saar knows his limitations, recognising when to play short, safe passes into more creative and progressive teammates, but also having the capability to play ranging switches to spread play himself, or occasionally play a clever key pass in the final third. Meanwhile, his physicality and athleticism make him a brilliant ball carrier, either by swiftly rounding a marker to break the opposition press or driving the ball forwards into open space in transition. Finally, it must be said that none of Saar's abilities would be as affected if it weren't for his mentality. As Saar says himself, he just tries to enjoy every single match, and it shows. He plays football with so much positivity and enthusiasm, the way in which he harries the opposition to win the ball back, how he drives his team forwards up the field. It's an infectious attitude that makes him perfect for Postacoglu's football and beloved by all, managers, players and fans alike. All in all then, playing in an Ange Postacoglu side fostering the perfect mental and physical environment for him to thrive, Saar's potential seems to be coming to the fore. If he continues to progress at this rate, there's no reason why he couldn't become one of the most special and exciting midfield talents for the years to come.